experience. And then uh, as far as your team, this game against Cincinnati, um, how big is it? I mean, they're in second place. They've been breathing down your neck. They're really the only team that's been close to you guys all season. Um, just wondering what you're expecting, and you're not going to have Jordy with you in the back. Uh, just what are you expecting from that game? Those are my two questions. Thanks. Yeah. So I think with the Argentina match, looking at Martinez's performance, I mean, just seeing how he's able to come up in clutch moments to make multiple PK saves in like a shootout, make big saves throughout the game is just huge. I mean, that's kind of, you know, your job as a goalkeeper is to make those saves and you know be there for your team when they need it most. So to see that, him doing it on one in one of the biggest tournaments on one of the biggest stages, you know, applause to him because it's not easy, to, not easy to do. Um, and it was, you know, very exciting to watch as well. You know, just like the energy, the, you know, two massive saves and like the PK shootout. It's just like, wow, this guy's on like another level. And then changing gears to our match this weekend. Of course, like in terms of points, you know, it's really us and Cincy at the top. And, you know, it just goes to show, you know, kind of what we have in front of us. You know, there's a big game. I can say it's a big game, but at the end of the day, it's just another game that we have to play, that we have to compete in, that we have to perform and, uh, you know, work for a good result. I think it's a long season. I think we've been in good form and uh, getting these points on the road are super important. You know, our road form this year compared to previous years has improved a lot. And so we're really just trying to use this momentum from these past two games, three games, and, you know, take it with us into Saturday night. Jose? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Rafa. Drake, um, hey, how are you? I just uh, wanted to ask you about, you know, the middle of the field. You being a goalkeeper, you kind of have the perfect angle from the back. Um, you know, the team was was very good when they had the ball in the last game with the buildup, and Tata talked about it. Um, I'm just wondering what what you're seeing from 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 the midfielders and and how they have been able to um, distribute the ball just a little bit better and a little bit quicker. It seems you know it's just one two touches and and you guys are moving the ball really well. Have you seen any anything of that from the back? Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, Jose, I, I think you know having guys like Busquets, younger players like Yannick, uh, Ben Ha, uh, David. You know, all of our midfielders work extremely hard. And I think their positional play has been very, very good. Uh, they've been really good at switching the field from left to right, right to left, as well as just being, uh, you know, sometimes playing simple, not doing too much. And I think it's really helped us in possession. And, of course, having the experience of Boozy in there helps out a lot. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's different rotations with guys doing overlaps and getting forward. And uh, the last few games, I think we've done a really good job of just – you know, not trying to do too much, but also playing with confidence and trying to break lines. Next question, Nicole, then Michelle. Hi, Jake, how are you? Good, how are you doing, Nicole? I'm good, I'm good. Um, Given that the team has been undefeated on the road for eight consecutive matches, which is a club record, what does this say about the character of the group, but also about the young players who have stepped up even more during this stretch? Yeah, like you said, I mean, eight, eight wins on the road is pretty big for us. I think it's really, that's really big for any club is to, you know, win away from home. And I think it comes down to the mentality that we're bringing to each game. You know, of course we may feel a bit more confident. We may have the home fans at home and everything, but I think the cohesiveness that we've started to build together, especially on the road has, I mean, this has helped us out a lot. You know, it's not always perfect. Sometimes we concede first, sometimes we're down in the game and being able to rally back has been, has been huge and as well as for like the young players stepping up I mean it's there's so many opportunities there's so many um, moments that they've come through for us for example Ben Haas scoring a you know game winner goal last game like that's that's massive and you know it's a difference between you know getting one point and getting three points so these guys are really stepping up and uh, playing good too like you know I mean I think everybody's impressed I think from the inside and the out everyone's kind of like wow these guys are really are really balling right now back to Michelle and then Jose I have two real quick <clears throat> I want to ask um specifically about Yannick Bright 
uh, you know, a rookie coming in and, and doing what he's doing, what, what qualities does he bring? What has impressed you about him? And then I want to uh, ask about you and how would you evaluate your season so far? You've had some massive saves in the last few games. Um, I think earlier in the season, maybe, I don't know, was there a little bit of a dip at all? Or I don't know, maybe not. Sorry about the truck. Um, how would you evaluate your season so far? You, you've played so many games and, you know, a lot of important games. How would you evaluate your, your performances here? Thanks. Yeah, I'll start with Yannick. I mean, Yannick, he's an extremely hard worker. He's, you know, like myself, came through college as well. So sometimes it can kind of be intimidating coming from like the NCA into the MLS and guys are coming from different leagues and everything. And it's a very professional environment. You know, guys are competing really hard and Yannick's done a really good job of fitting in to the team, doing what the coach asks of him and just performing well and coming up with big plays. I think he covers a lot of ground. He makes good decisions, um, especially in the middle of the field. It, it can get kind of hectic. So, you know, where he's at in his career, you know, he's young. It's his it's his rookie year. I think he's going in a really good direction. And, you know, he's been one of our key players this stretch of games, just whether he's starting, whether he's coming off the bench, he's bringing great energy and, you know, he's providing a lot for us. And then to your second question, yeah, in terms of my season, you know, it's, I really kind of look at it as a marathon and, you know, sometimes there'll be highs, sometimes there'll be lows, definitely in the earlier part of the season. There might have been just, I would say, just difficult moments, you know, and I think for me, just not identifying with a, a single error or a single game uh, has allowed me to kind of just move on from maybe not my best performance, just to stay focused on what's important, which is like the next game, the next play. So, you know, I mean, happy to, con to contribute to the team in the best way possible, whether it's making a big save or just doing my job to like the best that I can. And it's a long year, so we still have League's Cup. We still have the rest of the season. And I think it's just important to just stay confident, keep building momentum, and show up for your team when they need you most. Jose? Um, two quick ones for you, Drake. Um, the first one on Busi, you know, playing as a center back. I know you guys have done it. Um, you know, a few times during this season, but I'm just wondering if you see anything different as he gets more time in that position. It's it's surprising how he's able to adjust within the game um to to a, a completely different role. Um and the second one would be on the on the US men's national team. Um, I'm assuming it was hard to watch them, you know, get eliminated in the group stage. And then there's obviously a lot of talk about Greg. Um, I I was hoping that you can share your thoughts on, on what the experience was with them and, and what do you think he provides to the team um, that he still remains in, in place as the head coach? Yeah, so Busquets playing center back. I mean, I... When, I mean, when he, when he, he, he first went there, I was like, all right, let's kind of see how this goes. And... Uh, I mean, he's done really, really good. I think he, you know, he's so good on the ball that whether he's in the midfield, whether he's a center back, really any position, he can he can help us out a lot. So um, it's definitely been something, I think, for him to adapt to. And I think he just has so much experience that you could put him anywhere on the field and he would help us. So uh, to have him as center back has been great. You know, he definitely helps us in the build, in possession. And it's been been cool to kind of see how he's navigated a change in position you know because it's not always the easiest thing um and yeah kind of switching over to uh, the men's national team yeah it's pretty difficult to watch them get eliminated and you know it's of course you always want to advance out of the group stage you want to be in these big tournaments you want to you want to compete and you know that's the reality of sports is sometimes you know things may not go your way there may be some controllables some uncontrollables that affect the results and I think it's definitely a big learning experience and I think for the group of guys when I you know had some time with them I mean they're all committed they're all they're all locked in really really good group of guys that you know have a vision for what the team looks like and where the team's going and uh, from my personal experience it seems like everybody's headed in the right direction everyone is competing and everyone's challenge challenging each other and I think it's, yeah, maybe, maybe it's, you know, this might be a bit of a wake-up call, not advancing out of the group stage. And, yeah, you know, I think there's 
definitely, you know, some some things that they can do to kind of prepare for the World Cup in 2026. Okay, new last question, Andrea. Gracias, Rafa. Hi, Drake. I wanted to ask you, I don't know, I didn't listen to a first question because I got an eight, but I wanted to ask you, uh, tomorrow you'll face DeAndre. Uh, again, have you had a chance to talk with him and in, it, it, would it be special for you to to see your friend again and, and actually play against him? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, good question. I mean, me and DeAndre have gotten pretty close and ever since we've been teammates. I kind of look at it more. <laughs> teammates or not, you know, we're kind of friends beyond that, so it would be cool to kind of line up against him and play against each other. Maybe we'll do a jersey swap or something. But, you know, that's uh, the reality of sports is sometimes, you know, you're there may be a move or you may move and you have to compete against uh, people you're close with. And, uh, yeah, it'll it'll be good to see him. Definitely, you know, have spoke about it. And I, I think it's going to be more fun and exciting than anything. Uh, I learned so much from him as a competitor and just as like a person that um, – this game will be exciting and fun and you know to to experience playing against them will be pretty cool but yeah I, I think it'll 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 be a fun game overall is there a bet between you guys like no. you can reveal or something <laughs> oh no 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 okay thanks Ray yeah awesome All right.